Hey guys, welcome to beautiful Valencia. Obviously, when you're here, you wanna eat paella. I mean, this is the birthplace of the dish, but I've been surprised how much bad paella is served in the city. Just kind of slop served up to unsuspecting tourists. But don't worry, I'm gonna save you from that. I'm gonna take you on the ultimate paella experience. First, we're gonna go to a place to eat paella in the environment it must be eaten in. Then we're gonna jump on a boat for a sunset cruise to see where the dish was born. And finally, we're gonna take a paella cooking class in a local chef's back garden, and he's gonna teach me how to cook a true paella valenciana over fire. And these are all experiences that you can do yourself when you're in Valencia. Friendly locals. Hola, Tony. Encantado. Encantado. This is Tony Montoliu. He's Valencia's paella godfather. He runs his famous paella restaurant on his own farm out in the Valencian countryside, about 20 minutes north of the city. And if you want to eat paella as it should be eaten in the countryside, this is the place. And by the way, you might notice me limping a little bit in this video. I've got a bit of a dicky knee. I threw it out in the gym the other day, but I've got it all strapped up and I'm good to go. I didn't want my dodgy knee to get in the way of good paella. Yeah, gentlemen. Luis. Luis, encantado. Eres el chef, no? Eso, Luis. Sí. So this chicken, this rabbit, and the duck is gonna be there for 45 minutes to an hour browning. The key with a paella is it's one of the few dishes where you actually make the stock that you then cook the rice in. So the meat has been cooking for about 30 minutes and you can see it's getting that beautiful golden color. That is what's gonna make our great stock that the rice is gonna cook in. So just a little tip, sometimes when people come from other countries, they don't put snails or rabbit in because people get a bit funny about it. So when you come, make sure you ask that you want the one with snails and rabbit. You want the, you want the real deal. <laughs> the meat was cooking for 45 minutes an hour to get all that beautiful golden color. And now that stock is gonna be bubbling away for 45 minutes. What do you do when a process for cooking takes so long, like a barbecue or something like that? You stand around with your friends and you drink beer and you eat snacks. That's the whole experience that you miss out on if you order a paella, you know, just in a, in a dining room in a restaurant. How was the siesta? It's a true by experience. Mom. Even the tanky music is like a, when the fam when the family get together. I so. feel right at my Valencian home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vamos a ir para pedir a ver la barraca. Ah, qué bueno. Somos un grupito de ocho personas. Vale, perfecto. No idea what's happening, but I think we can. I'm limping and following. Ole, Every, everybody, no, everybody. ¿Cuál es el secreto de una buena paella? El secreto de una buena paella, lo primero es, son tener productos de primera calidad. Sí, ¿no? Y segundo es poner, ponerle el amor que le hace falta. Porque yo siempre digo que hacer la paella es como hacer el amor. Sí. Despacito y buena letra. So right behind us, here, it's chufa, the tuber that is used to make horchata, that really delicious drink that's famous here from Valencia. So Tony's explained that we're in the great Huerta Valenciana, which are these market gardens that for centuries have surrounded the city and still do surround the city and have provided, provided produce to Valencia, but also all of Spain and Europe. And it's still here. You just come, you know, a few kilometers from outside the, the city and you have stillness, you have orange trees, lime trees, chufas, you have all these crops and two kilometers that way is the sea and we have these gentle sea breezes coming at us. It's tranquil, it's rural and a true paella experience is a rural experience. Race with my bung knee to see the rice being added to the paella. Me esperas Luis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, rice going in. Cuatro kilos has dicho, ¿no? Sí, hoy sí. Ahora después de todo el proceso, esto es el momento final, que es lo más importante del proceso. Muy bien. Muy caliente, ¿no? 
Hot, hot. All right, this caldo, this broth that has been cooking away, made in the moment from all that meat and everything. Let's try it. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That is so intense. Mmm. Right? Oh, it's so beautiful. It's rich. It's it is dense. gorgeous. So they're trying to get that last bit of heat there just to caramelize the base of the rice along the pan. So you get those really crispy, crunchy bits that are full of flavor, the socarrato. It's like the holy grail of paella. Here we go. Don't forget to click, click. Yes. Click. 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 Yes. All right, it's paella time. Okay, so we've got everything in here. We've got our we got our duck. We've got our rabbit and chicken in here. Garofo, the snails, the snails, the beans, the whole kit and caboodle. All right. Going in. Mm, it's really, oh, it's really flavorful. The duck. Mm. Oh wow. Get in there with your hands, guys. Yeah. Mm. Mm. This is my Asterix and Obelix moment. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I'm missing here to be like really authentic is a massive argument on politics, like at the end of lunch or something. You know, like just when you're like finishing your rice and desserts start happening, massive argument on politics. <laughs> We drive 30 minutes south to Valencia's iconic Albufera National Park because it's amongst these rice fields and wetlands that paella was born. This is Maria, a Valencia guide who's going to show us around Albufera and who offers food and culture tours in Valencia and in its surroundings. We can see the different uh, colors uh, here. We can see the, the rice yeah. that is uh, ready for the harvest. The because color. it turns a little bit yellow, exactly. right? Yeah. So this is where paella is from, right? This is the spot. Exactly. Paella comes from Albufera. Yeah. And, and, and I guess like when you see it, you can understand why paella doesn't have chorizo. This is not, <laughs> yeah. this is not pig farming country, <laughs> no, right? No, it's not. It's not at all. <laughs> so, so people would use what they had available. When you truly want to understand a dish, you have to visit the place that it's from. Yeah. You know, and you understand why it doesn't have muscle in it because it's not a fisherman's dish mm -hmm. why it doesn't have pork because it's not a, a you know pork farmer's dish it's the dish of what poor people hundreds of years ago mm -hmm. could just find in this area the uh, community of here the Palmar yeah. is from 1250 wow. so it's very very old wow almost a thousand years old yes and still going so it's just the, the, yeah. the traditional kind of work that people do is still happening yeah I mean, somebody has to work these fields, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so right smack bang in the middle of all the rice fields and alongside the Albufera is this town, El Palmar, that traditionally was a place where fishermen and rice field workers lived. And now it has 700 inhabitants and it has 32 restaurants specializing in paella, of course, uh, and 12,000 people come every weekend to eat paella. Yoli and I ate in El Palmar 10 years ago alongside the rice fields. I don't remember if the paella was good, but the experience was magical. But there was one thing we didn't do that day that I've always regretted. We didn't take a Sunset Albufera boat cruise. And today, we're going to right that wrong. At the heart of the Albufera National Park is the Albufera itself, a mainly freshwater lagoon that for centuries has provided a livelihood to the fishermen of El Palmar, a stopping off point for thousands of migratory birds and the perfect wetland environment for growing rice. Maria was telling me that the right to fish here in the Albufera uh, is passed down generation to generation. Uh, but until 1999, women were not allowed to fish uh, on the, the, this freshwater lagoon. So over behind us, there's on the boat, they've got a photographer would suggest that it may be uh, and maybe a more romantic proposal than, than mine to Yali, where it was like, I need to find a way to legally live in Spain. Should we get married? And I said, I guess so. <laughs> Every day I look at you and I think I must have done something good to deserve you. Hola. 
This is Miquel, a paella expert who offers paella cooking classes in his garden, teaching people how to make a true paella valenciana in the perfect Sunday backyard environment. And of course, over live fire. And this thing is heavy, guys. We're gonna be cooking on this. Look, oh my God, I've already ruined my paella. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm such an amateur, I'm such an amateur. See, the fire is ready, Miquel said, so time to Start fry frying up the meat. This is where the city boy burns himself. <laughs> <laughs> just just uh, in the middle? Yeah. Okay, this brown color is that means that the, uh, the meat is very well fried. I'm exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> Are we eating yet? I really have two goals here today. I want to one, cook a great Bahia Valenciana. I want to get that flavor, you know, that broth that Luis got yeah. the other day. But two, I want to show you what a full Bahia experience is, that it's in the garden of a friend like Miquel with, with family and friends, and it's the whole process. It's so much more than just the plate of rice. Uh, we actually this... have a third goal here. What is my um, third goal? Well, to learn really well to make a traditional Bahia and then teach my mom. She requested that? Yeah. Oh. You're like, oh, you're gonna learn? I wanna, I want some of that too. You think we should take this other piece of, does it sound too hot? I think it sounds too hot. It sounds too hot. All right. Burning too fast. Put it there. Yeah, okay. Pretty proud of myself, I controlled the heat. I mean, you, you did a little bit of that. That, <laughs> that was helping, ridiculous, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the experience would not be complete without, you know, <laughs> a beer. Cheers. Cheers, <laughs> salud. The food right now just has that beautiful color, all the golden quality from the meat, the paprika, the tomato, the beans all mixed together. It's like you can see the flavor. We are gonna have the water that we need to cook the, the rice. The level, Okay. we have these magnetics. Yeah. This magnetic, paella facil, it's oh, very wow. easy. Because you can have the level, this is the level. Okay. Then now we can add more water, when we have again the level, is the moment to add the rice. Okay. But very important for a raw rice in Valencia, because we are a sea level. If you are in Madrid, that you are 700 meters, you need more time to cook in the rice. The traditional aperitif, uh, aperitif Yoli, rabbit liver. Oh, yum. Your you, favorite. I, well, I woke up this morning saying, you know what I feel like? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh, mm. girl. Oh, it's good. It's not too irony. It's really good. It's got a beautiful, delicate flavor. Shall I feed you? Or you feed no, yourself? No, I can, yeah. yeah. You can feed yourself these yeah, days? Yeah, yeah, I can. You've gotten there? Mmm, mm, delicious. Mmm. Yeah? Yeah, it's soft. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah. Rabbit liver for everyone. So the salt always at the end. Yeah. Okay, saffron. Just turning or? You, 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 you can keep, that's it. <laughs> mm, can smell the saffron already, it's like wafting up, it's so. Yeah. You smell? <laughs> yeah, the smell of cam. Then now we're gonna add water to this. Okay. Ah, to kind of hot. People wait another hour. Beautiful color, it's like gold, huh? Yeah. So this is the kind of rice that's being grown in the fields we saw alongside the albufera yesterday. It's not long grain, it's not basmati, it's a special rice that's round, that's gonna absorb all the flavor. It can suck up all that, all that broth and the rice is where the flavor needs to be in a paella. Do it fast because once you add the rice, it starts cooking. It starts cooking, yeah. yeah. So we had 17 minutes to cook the rice. There's seven minutes and 22 seconds left. It's like a ticking time bomb. One minute and 45 seconds left. The time is correct, it's looking good. It's looking very good, it's, uh, it's almost done. Now is the moment that we have no more broth and we are not going to boil the rice. Okay, you then we need to fry. If we finish the, uh, the paella without fire, yeah. it's very few fire, but now we, need, we want more. Wow, it's heavy. My your baby. Woo. Here we go. Can you see my biceps, guys? Oh yeah. yeah. Woo. Your okay. guns, your guns. Laying it down. One, two, three. Boom. Wow. It smells so good. Very, very good. Okay, so I have to choose my part, right? Yeah, you have to know. Draw it. What is your part? Do I draw it? Yeah, yes, you guys are part. You choose a little bit. Oh here. wow. Okay. Oh yeah, crispy. Don't, don't invade my area, huh? I'm not invading you, oh, come okay. on. All right, oh, we're getting, you know, I know getting you. tense already. So we scrape. We scrape it like that so that it... Am I in your area? Wow, there's a beautiful crunchy socarrat bit oh, yeah. stuck at the bottom. Yum, 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 look at that. Socarrat. 
Oh, oh. wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, Miquel. This is incredible. And you mm. kind of made this. I mean, Miquel made it, but you know, you kind of made well, it too. You know, I was hovering about. I was limping about, you know. This is incredible. Miquel, it's very good. Thank you so it much. Very good. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Miquel, you, you try some. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's a good day. <laughs> a true paella experience is one with family, with friends, sitting here with the food in front of you. You've been working on it for hours, and then you just spend hours eating and talking and discussing politics yeah, I mean, and yep. whatever it is. So a huge thank you to Miguel. <laughs> thank you. 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 Thank you.